So we're at the Pigs and Peaches Friday Night Ancillary Contest, and we've had uh, anything, uh, mostly everything made from ground beef, and it's quite a variety. Six, six samples look entirely different from one another and taste entirely different. Which was your favorite of the six? This small one that didn't look so large, but the flavor was just phenomenal. I'm not sure what they did, but whatever they did, I'd like to have the recipe. Okay. Same event. I won't have to go through that again, right? Nope. <clears throat> uh, my favorite was number four here. What was in it? Besides of course, it was beer. well. It was almost like a. Uh, it was almost like a. Uh, Shepherd's pie, but it had sweet potatoes, peas, ground beef, really, really good taste. Some other ones are good. This uh, this uh, burrito was good, and so was this one. So uh, we had some pretty good. This one was a little bit different. This had macaroni with. <clears throat> it's kind of. Uh, we tried to make a hot dog. Tried to ha try to make a hot dog out of it. But it was. I mean. I mean. They're all okay. Uh, my favorite also was number four. You can tell, and it was a shepherd's pie with um, pipe petted um, uh, sweet potato on the top, which gave a really nice mixture of flavors with the sweet um, sweet potato and then the hamburger with the uh, uh, corn and and peas in it and this too number one was very unique with the noodles inside it had a, little, had a lot of taste to it uh, mustard and ketchup for me the number two was kind of bland it had um, mushrooms with it but it really didn't have a lot of flavor and the number three was a disaster it was just mush and didn't have much flavor and uh, this looked in the last one number five looked beautiful we thought actually we thought we were getting a, a dessert and it turned out to be a taco type, but a little too spicy, and then and too runny. The that was the only reservation on that. It was oh, the taste was an overkill. Very unique. Oh no, thank you. Keep passing. Oh. Do I need two? No, you can pass. Okay. What, are, what am I doing? Who you are, where we are. Hi, I'm Shanda, and um, I'm at the Pigs and Peaches Barbecue Festival. Um, we are in that the anything but contest and um, I've had a choice of a beef mm, hot dog with macaroni and cheese inside a burger topped with onions and mushrooms which was excellent um, a meatloaf a uh, looks like maybe a burrito and something that was very interesting interesting it's a uh, it's some sort of beef dish that mm -hmm. tastes a little bit like wine. Um, not sure what's in it. Um, very good, very delicious. Beautiful presentation. Um, excellent. It was, it was excellent. All right, the category was desserts. Peach desserts. And what a great category it was. Our first entry was a peach parfait that was wonderful. Our second entry was a peach cobbler with ice cream on top of it. Warm, fantastic. Our third entry was a peach pie with whipped cream on top of it and a kind of a gelatin uh, filling in it. Outstanding. And our last entry was a piece of peach shortcake, fresh peaches on top with uh, peach sauce. Outstanding peach desserts. Yes, the number one entry was a parfait, very nicely layered, peaches very fresh, enjoyed very much. Our second entry was a, looked like a blueberry peach cobbler, I felt uh, being warm and serving in a contest with ice cream, it melted to, to enjoy the mixture, but it was still very good. Third entry being a slice of pie with a uh, peach and whipped cream topping, nice flaky crust, enjoyed very much. And our fourth entry was peach shortcake. Felt as though the inside of the 
uh, shortcake was still a little mushy, hadn't cooked all the way, but the peach puree was outstanding and a slice of fresh peach on top. The uh, first entry was the peach parfait. I thought it was a very good presentation with a layer of crust on the bottom. A uh, nice layer of fresh peaches and cream and then another layer of, of graham cracker crust. I uh, thought the flavor was excellent. And then the uh, second entry was a uh, peach blueberry cobbler uh, served warm. Uh, the cream, the ice cream had melted, but it gave a good flavor to the cobbler and uh, thought it had uh, a lot of flavor in it. The uh, third entry was the uh, peach pie. Uh, the cream on the top was a very nice cream uh, with a, a very nice flaky crust and good flavor to the fresh peaches. The fourth entry was the uh, cake, the peach cake. Um, had a nice glaze to the cake and the uh, peaches were a little uh, soft but had good flavor. Which was your favorite? Oh my, uh, tough choice because they were each uniquely had a different spin on the peach itself. I mean, you, you had the classic, which was well-defined. The, the layers were perfect. The second one where it was hot and warm, I enjoyed it as a dessert, but to me, the blueberries kind of um, overpowered the peach. I mean, it's a peach dessert, so while it was really, really good as far as a peach dessert, it, it didn't kind of fit in with me. Uh, the peach pie is like a, a peach gel, uh, the peaches on this were extremely fresh and had a nice little snap taste. The, to me, this was almost like a shortbread pound cake. Uh, I enjoyed it. Mine was cooked through and through. I had no issues. It had a nice glaze uh, on the side and on the top of it. Uh, I, I thoroughly enjoyed all of them. I mean, it was just, uh, uh, everybody was excellent, did a, did a fantastic job. Wonderful desserts, wonderful peaches. Not a one that was not excellent. Uh, as you can tell with mine, all of mine is just about eaten. Did you have desserts? Yeah, I did have desserts at one time. But uh, <laughs> my favorite was the pie. I thought it, as far as the peach contest, it brought the best peaches. Thank you all very much. Number one, number two, uh, both had, I thought, pretty good smoky flavor, but they were kind of rubbery, uh, undercooked. Um, number three, uh, the skin came off, uh, but otherwise relatively good. Uh, number four was pretty bland, other than the sauce, my least favorite. Um, uh, number five uh, was good flavor but the skin was a little tough and number six was kind of average good a little too spicy uh, number one I actually uh, I liked uh, the flavor it seemed to be penetrated through and through and kind of lasted throughout the whole process uh, two was good three and four while tender, there there wasn't a lot of taste there. Four more so. It was it was juicy and tender, but there just there wasn't a smoky flavor. There was really it was kind of lacking in any kind of spice. Uh, five very tender. The the taste was good. The the, the sauce used uh, wasn't too overpowering. Uh, six um, very moist. It just uh, it wasn't my favorite, but uh, job well done on all of them. 
overall it was a good category in terms of appearance one and two were the most attractive as they came around uh, in terms of taste though they were taste and tenderness they, they were a little bit rubbery tough number three actually was my favorite it it was zesty even even a second bite without the skin still had flavor to it uh, four and five I thought were <clears throat> good good categories certainly certainly worth competition uh, and then six had an odd taste um, it's almost as if they had made a sauce out of tomato soup uh, I'm not sure what what it was but uh, that's the summary I thought all the samples were very good um, exceptional uh, appearance on all of them um, one and two definitely stood out on appearance on uh, taste uh, I thought they were all very good in taste um, uh, one that stood out for me was sample number three as far as having a very good flavor uh, a lot of different things uh, going on um, and it added everything that you want uh, four had a good flavor that stuck out to me as having um, a good texture and flavor and uh, six I thought uh, appearance wise was a little bit on the dry side and uh, wasn't quite so tender uh, when I bit into it uh, I thought all of the categories all of the chicken entries were um, were very very good um, my favorites were one and four I thought that um, one had good flavor I would have pulled back the smoke just a little bit it was a uh, little bit dominating the chicken flavor but not not bad and um, number four I think had a great uh, chicken flavor coming through and um, the texture on both of the one and four I think were excellent um, my least favorite was number six I f my piece was actually dry and um, again as um, other people had had noted the sauce had kind of an off flavor which dominated the uh, flavor of the chicken coming. Um, I actually have two favorites, um, number four and number five. They're both well cooked with good flavor. My least favorite was number one. Could barely bite into it. And okay flavor. All six entries looked uh, good in presentation. Number one was undercooked and two and five were overcooked. Number four was my uh, favorite with the taste. My favorite was number four. Um, number five, I thought it was a little dry, and um, but the reason I like number four was the bark was really good and the taste. It had a little bit of um, a little bit of spice to it, just the right amount of spice on number four. Um, like everybody else, I liked f probably four the best. I liked uh, six pretty good, but it was just a little bit overcooked. Number one was way undercooked, and it was really hard to eat. Out of the six samples I had, uh, one, two, and three I thought was a little on the tough side. My favorite was number four. Had a good smoke flavor, had a good tender chew to it, um, but I like number four overall. Out of the, uh, the six that I had, my favorite was number four as well as uh, uh, six was pretty good as well. The, uh, the third one was a little dry and a little tough with a bit of a chemical taste to it, but uh, four and six were definitely. We're now into pork category. We had six entries today. Uh, our first entry was very flavorful, enjoyed it very much. Uh, number two to me was a very mushy uh, t appearance and, and, and taste to the meat itself. Number three was kind of dry, it just did not uh, suit my taste for, for pork. Number four was a very flavorful, juicy cut of meat. Uh, and then number five was very pleasant and a very flavorful cut. And number six was a cold meat, a lot of gristle, and very chewy. Uh, 
I would say also with number one that there was uh, good flavor to it and uh, good texture. Uh, number two was again uh, a little off on the texture, but the, the flavor was, was quite good. Number three, I was lacking both in uh, adequate uh, texture, is a, a little dry, chewy. Also, was a bit sour in uh, taste. Uh, and uh, number uh, four uh, was a, a bit uh, uh, dry, but also tasted well. Number uh, five was a little bit um, soft and mushy, but uh, the flavor was there. Number six was uh, a tough, gristly, rubbery, chewy, um, did not taste well, was a bit dry. All of the entries we noted were low or a bit off in temperature, meaning on the colder side. So number one, uh, presentation was, uh, appearance was pretty decent on it. I enjoyed the, the, the box. Unfortunately, it had kind of a charcoal, lighter fluid type of uh, flavor to it. Uh, number two, uh, a little mushy, looked good in the box uh, as well. Uh, number three, um, very mushy. Uh, the box itself didn't have uh, the uh, appearance that I uh, had hoped for, and the flavor certainly wasn't there either. Uh, number four, all in all, wasn't a bad entry. Uh, flavor was there. Appearance wasn't bad at all. Uh, same with five. Uh, probably was with the favorite of mine uh, across all six, and um, definitely had the appearance and the taste. Uh, number six itself was uh, not my favorite entry. Uh, the appearance wasn't bad. Uh, however, the texture was very, very um, uh, tough and uh, a little chewy. I think I would just like to remind all the cooks out there that there appears to be so much um, attention being paid to the money muscle that they're forgetting that there's a lot of other muscles involved in a, in a butt. And there was a lot of inconsistency among the, uh, the samples. Okay, we're judging brisket. Uh, number one was good, but the burnt in was real fatty. Uh, number four was really dry and I guess my favorite was number two and number six uh, had a lot of salt but it was good well I think we agree we it, we had a couple of good really good pieces and then we had some that were too salty or not t very tender you can cut that out for me, number one was very mushy. It pretty much disintegrated in my mouth as soon as I put it in there. Uh, my favorite was number five, especially the burn in. It had a really good flavor to it and good texture. Uh, one, the burnt in had good flavor, but the slice was overcooked and fell apart and could have used some more flavor. Uh, two was tender, but it had an interesting oniony type flavor to it that I wasn't a fan of. Uh, three was tender, um, but and had a really good beef flavor. Four was dry and salty. Five was my favorite. Burnt in was really good. Um, the slice was on the verge of being overdone, but held itself together. And six, the point was good. Uh, the slice was tender, had a nice beefy flavor.